Hey guys, in this video, we're going to go over how I personally use the flying research tool. Now, using this tool is definitely not a mandatory thing if you want to succeed in Amazon Merch. However, it can save you some time and I'm going to go over the features that I find the most helpful. So let's go ahead and go into the tool. So here we are in the flying research tool. And there are two main tabs that I use. I use the best sellers tab and the seller trends tab. And right now we're in the seller trends tab. And the way that I use this tab is I simply pop it open and then I scroll through and I see what kind of things are selling well that have started to show an uptick. And the way it shows that is by showing you what's happening with the BSR percentage changes, right? So if you read this, you see this one is a winner and it went up 97% in terms of its BSR ranking. And you see the current BSR is 123K and it averages about 340K. So the seller trends makes it so that we can identify the sales momentum of certain types of designs and certain types of niches. So if you scroll through here, you'll see that a lot of these are 4th of July related because I am recording this just after the 4th of July. So it gives you kind of a base idea of what's going on in terms of what is starting to sell more on Amazon. And you'll see political trends, you'll see holiday trends, and you'll see design trends rather quickly if you just scroll through this interface. And this can help you pick through and find different design styles or niches that you can enter. Now right here, I have it sorted by trends winner. You could also see trends loser, and you'll see a lot of these are for events that have already passed. Here's one that's slanted towards April. We have test days, which were in April and May. So you can kind of see that, but I tend to just leave it on trends winner, and I use it to get kind of a finger on the pulse of what's going on on Amazon Merch. So the other tab I use is this best sellers tab, and the way that I use this is a little bit different than the seller trends tab. You can obviously scroll through here and you can see which things are selling well, which have the best BSRs. And that's certainly a very valid way to get a big overview of what's working on merch right now. But the way that I use it is to validate niches more quickly. So I do that by going into this search best sellers tab. And we can type in whatever we want to get a basic idea of what's working within a niche instead of just what's working on Amazon as a whole. So we could look at plumbing and then we will see what kinds of designs are working in plumbing. And we could also type in other things like jujitsu and we see that we have a little bit different of design styles that work here. And then we can type in something like color guard. And after we type in color guard, we see another completely different type of design style. Now that makes sense because these are all different niches, but instead of going through the front end of Amazon, you can more quickly scroll through without having to wait for the BSR to load and you will see BSR data right here all in one spot and you can visually see all of the different styles that we've got that are currently selling on Amazon. Now, that's how I do research, and that's primarily what flying research is about for me. However, they do have some other features that I find pretty interesting and helpful. So one of the other things that you could do is you could use their little events tab in the sidebar and you can see social media holidays and calendar events. So the best way to use this is to kind of think about things three months in advance. And we could click October because that's three months in advance for us at the time of recording this. And we can see the types of things that are likely to get sales at trending sales kinds of levels, which are usually higher. And the ones that stand out to me are Breast Cancer Month, World Mental Health Day, and obviously Halloween. Now, something interesting that they did recently add that I'm pretty excited about that makes it a much easier workflow 
if you are trying to use flying research as a primary tool is they added the ability to use AI. And if we use this flying AI image editor, we can do things like pull a prompt for a single token. And if you look at the interface, we can choose how many iterations of the design we want to do. And we could choose the different image generators that we want to use. So let's start with pulling the prompt and seeing where that gets us. Okay, so after just a few seconds here, we got a pretty much ready, simple AI prompt, and we could use it. And for the purposes of testing out how good this prompt is, I'm going to use Google AI Studio and run Imogen 4 at my preferred aspect ratio. We'll see what that does. And then we will do the same thing with the chat GPT generator. And then we will use the native image generator that is available in flying research. So they've got this custom model here. And I believe that it is different costs based off of the image generator, which makes sense. So let's go ahead and up the design amount to something high so that we can see what it's capable of. And then let's go ahead and use Ideogram 3.0 quality. Uh, let's do four options. Then we'll run it that way. And that is not bad from Ideogram 3.0 quality. Now let's try some of the other ones. Now we're going to go with V1 quality and we'll see how that goes. That's also not bad. I like the typography in this one a little bit better. Their custom model is pretty solid. And let's try Flux Pro 1.1 and see how that does. And then after we get to look at Flux 1.1, we will go ahead and look at it in the ChatGPT and Imogen 4. So obviously, if you're a fan of ideogram type graphics, this is a pretty solid result. This is the native one that is flying AI. And then we've got this one, which is Flux 1.1 Pro. All solid, and you could even just take some of these and run with them. And what we could do is we can go ahead and background remove it. And in just a few seconds, we've got the background removed and we can go ahead and upscale it. And after another minute, we have upscaled images. And then after that, we can just click download designs. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out Google Image in 4 and the ChatGPT model. So here we are, this one is Image in 4. And it did a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with this. Imogen 4 is an excellent image generator. And we just used flying uploads prompt. And let's go look at ChatGPT. I really like this one, but I also prefer the ChatGPT aesthetics. And I really like the muted brown and beige tones here. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of flying research. I think it's a great tool to quickly get a finger on the pulse of what is going on on Amazon Merch. And you can kind of quickly figure out what kind of design styles and what kind of BSRs you're seeing in whatever niche through simply searching it. If you're into the ideogram type of prompting and that type of design style output, then flying is a great option for creating images as well. And I was pleasantly surprised with their custom model that they built. Now, if you want to see what the more manual method of research looks like, where I do all of the research on the Amazon platform itself, then check out this video over here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in that video.